Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today is Nashville Cars and Coffee. It's March, the March event. It's about 30 something degrees and we're walking cones here getting our vendors set up. So y'all buckle up, turn off the Netflixes. If you're watching YouTube, let's uh, get going on it. And uh, y'all enjoy this medley of car stuff. Great. Good morning, Ben. Give us a sock update. I wore the right socks this time. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And boots. And boots. No and tennis shoes today. Good for you. I'm all thermaled out. So it's uh, about 7.45. The event is not yet officially started, but as y'all can see, uh, the folks are here. So it's that start. We, yeah, it did start, whether <laughs> it's an 8 o'clock thing or not. But we uh, are expecting a pretty decent turnout. There's already a bunch of folks here, and it's warming up, and... Today is one of those days where hopefully these folks are bringing stuff to give back for the uh, tornado victims. And uh, yeah, we will check in as the cars continue to roll in. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back today. We are at Nashville Cars and Coffee. I am here with this truck, which if you're wondering, it is that big. Uh, Bo, you think you could climb underneath that thing or what do you? I could probably walk you, under it. Yeah, at least like crab crawl or something. But this thing's hilariously huge, really cool, big old truck. But uh, all right, we're gonna begin this party <clears throat> and keep it moving. A uh, big shout out to our friends at German Motor Works. Thank you guys for coming back and enjoying our event. They've uh, they had a big move recently, and that caused them to focus on themselves for a while. But luckily they're back, and uh, Bo Biddle's happy about it. You like some BMWs, right? Uh, I've been known to like a BMW or two, Ben. Every once in a while, BMW fans. So today it's a little, little, uh, little brisk. <laughs> For a March event, it's in the 30s, I guess. Uh, everybody's out here with their jackets and gloves and such. Hopefully, it will be the last time of the year that we do this. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna meander our way a little bit here. Uh, friends from GPO are back. Some really cool Porsches, and uh, they do some Audi work too, right? I guess. Uh, a bunch of really clean rides here. This uh, friend of ours had built recently. Uh, you can see it's definitely raised up a little bit. It's got some off-road tires. Kind of the uh, Lee Keen style build, just done here locally. Safari style, I guess. Uh, no skid plate or light. Oh, 3.6, so it is fun to drive at least. Got some power. And I kind of like, I like the stance. Uh, but why don't you go stand next to it so we can kind of get, get an idea of how it really looks. But okay, so yeah, it does. You can see the bottom of the uh, the rocker or side side skirt, I guess, comes up to Bo's knee or so. So like it is pretty raised up as compared to your normal Porsche. Uh, well, all right, well, let's keep this party moving. We've got a one series. Don't see those too often for some reason. Uh, I guess not a lot of people bought them. Uh, this one looks like it's built pretty well. Uh, turbo, and I like those wheels. Those wheels are nice wheels. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Got our friends uh, from Harley Davidson back out here with the electric bike and some of the other uh, cruisers that they usually roll with. It's pretty exciting. Thanks to Harley again for supporting our event. We really appreciate uh, them being a part of this things. Then we got our buddies at Street Side really cool old Bronco over here I think that's one of the ones I saw when I was at their spot recently uh, really, really clean Bronco the new one what's coming out they're announcing here like two weeks or something like that Is that right Bo? Uh, I think so so it'll be cool to see that our friends from uh, Brian's Motorsports kind of going under the radar but bringing some cars out uh, appreciate these guys joining us when they can they, they got a full schedule of shows they go to 
Let's take a quick look at this one right here. It's the uh, the RST RST truck. Looks like they uh, lowered it a little bit like and put some really nice wheels on it. Um, this guy was rolling around for a little while and man, it just looks good rolling. You can see how low it is as Bo approaches the truck. Uh, but really like the color match front end. The grill, you can see he's got black stuff here across instead of chrome and really kind of a, they're making trucks nicer and nicer, aren't they, Bo Bo? Yeah. I'm, like getting into these trucks more and more I don't know why so it's gonna be a little loud because it... there was your fair warning sorry that it was uh... yep. yeah that's the event people are gonna be revving it's a nice Aston up there you can't really see it but as the lights fracturing us but let's uh let, let's go down the same aisle though because it looked like there was quite a nice following of uh Porsche Club, Porsche is, out. Club is out, uh, which is always fun. Got a nice Z01 sitting there. Uh, I've driven a couple of those, and I'm a big fan. Then you got the Z28, another really nice car. New Supra. It looks like you can rent on Toro, folks, if you're interested. Make our way past some of these groups. But you can see a nice big section. Um, new and new and old Porsche, uh, and then a couple Aston Martins here. Really, kind of a cool. Uh, I like these bodies on these white vets. I know they don't have much suspension or engine to have fun with, but definitely, uh, definitely pretty nice. Nice old hot rod. Uh, I don't know why. But these things are kind of interesting. I don't. I know Bo knows nothing about these. I know nothing about these. But man, it sure is clean. It sure is clean. Somebody put. Someone put a bunch of time into this. Even like the mirrored firewall. Really cool. And then you got your engine in there. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, get my gimbal operating here. So Walker Chevrolet, another one of our really big supporters. Uh, they've been with us, I think, from the inception of our business for the most part. Uh, all kinds of cool trucks. Looks like they're truck happy today, so or truck heavy. Uh, but yeah, truck, truck, truck. If you're into trucks, there you go. Uh, these things are pretty rare the, uh, to see nowadays. Not people stop buying these because of the SLS and the. Uh, what is it the AMG GT uh, so you don't see these very often but they're still rocket chips V8 by turbo it's really cool old Bel Air it's nice oh. I can't pass this car up really like these old I don't know if it's a Suburban I think it's a Suburban uh, but panel van whatever you call that Sorry, I have the little comment thing turned off so I can see what I'm filming. So if you guys are commenting, I apologize that I'm not answering your questions. Uh, old school looks like Gen 1 CTSV rolling by. Always nice to uh, see those guys out here. Friends with the All-American Gutter have kind of come out to help support the event and grow the their brand here locally. And then you got our friends at Auto Collection always representing. Really clean Bentley. Since the top is down, uh, oh, there is messages on. Anybody there from the local Miata Club? There is plenty of people from the local Miata Club. I'm walking that way now. So just give me a moment. But this is the interior of this. It's kind of a brand new Bentley. Man, this is. If y'all could understand how soft this is, I don't know how to explain it other than like it's it's way softer than it should be for anyone. Headrest. Pardon me, sir. I don't know why, but camoed out Chrysler 300. I'm all about it. All the booted. And then, what is this? An Audi. Look, this is an Audi. Uh, yes. A TTRS. Definitely don't see those very often. This is like a mini R8, guys. If you do not know, 
a beautiful car. I love that. Love the color, wheels, everything about that thing. It's a very underrated car right there. Uh, if you if you live up north or you live in a place that has weather or inclement weather, it would be amazing to own one of those and use that. And then you switch to this. Why am I such a wagon fan? It's these cars right here that made me a wagon fan. That wheel well, that wide body look is so cool. I mean, look at that wide body line that runs down the side of the car, up front, all the way to the back. Really love these cars. I know transmissions are questionable in them. I guess as all mid-90s thousands cars were. Uh, do a quick little pan again to show our BMW friends or the tail end of them and then here you go Miata Club. Big big array of Miatas always supporting our event. Looks like a Mustang squeezed his way in there which is not normal but hey he made it so he he's gonna park where he can. Big row of Miatas. 20 20 to 25 of them seemingly always coming out. Uh, I think I lost Bo Biddle, guys. I don't know where he went. Everybody's got hats on, so it's hard to tell what you're looking at, where your people are. But I guess we're just going to keep moving, and hopefully we'll find him. Uh, nice 20 plus window coupe. I don't know. I don't know how to differentiate, but that one has a bunch of windows, so that usually means. It's worth something. Uh, Pantera up front, really kind of cool. You don't see very many of these out here. The Eclipse, it's carbon hood, pretty cool. It's like we're making our way. Ooh, Vet Mania going on here. Fish Pace car, Camaros. What's up, Daniel? How you living, my friend? Oh, that's nice. These Evos still got my heart. This one's definitely hammered. Look at the tuck on that back wheel. It's definitely it's awesome. Brembo brakes. I have a feeling that's going to be one of those cars. You can find one that was un untouched in this modification world. They're going to be worth over $100,000 here pretty soon. Uh, I don't know about the Subarus, but... There's not a lot of Evos rolling around, so that's if y'all are looking for a car to consider buying, that would be it. Looks like we've entered the Subaru realm. There's a big following here uh, of our Subaru guys. Love that color. Love how they've really pushed the the color limits, if you will. Uh, y'all see Bo Biddle? If y'all see Bo Biddle, tell me, and I'll go I'll go back to him. But I don't know where he went. <coughs> don't know where he went. Maybe he'll be waiting for me at the end of the aisle or something. Maybe. All right, we're gonna keep this party moving to this other side. Uh, what's up? One of the biggest Jaguars around. Oh uh, man, big old car. It's really nice on the inside though. That's a good thing. All these people, you've all parked in handicap parking, which is illegal unless you're handicapped. So why did you park here? Every one of these cars doesn't understand general laws, but you know, it is what it is. Luckily, there are a few spaces open for our handicapped friends, but these guys clearly don't understand what that means uh, or what a handicap sign means. If you're watching this vlog and you park there, move your car or don't park there again next time. Uh, Camaro row coming up here. I'm gonna go over, because I saw these two old girls. Flip the camera around so we're not facing the sun. See if we can get a good look at them. So I make my way over here. I noticed that the parking lot is quite full of folks. So I don't know, I'm not, I know I like these things, but I don't know enough about them. This looks like a, a Nomad, uh, two-door Nomad. Maybe, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, and then this one, pretty cool. Nice carbon hood on this IS. And again, all these people that parked in handicap parking, come on, get it together. Get it together. All right, so we're gonna make our way up here to uh, the Volkswagen crew. You know, we've seen Subarus and 
Camaros and all those and now a couple really cool VWs some cool Jeeps off in the distance uh, I don't know what color that is my blue blockers say it's black but take the blue blockers off and it's blue that's a beautiful beautiful color on a BMW GTIs oh look got anybody need a C5 Z06 because there's one here silver on black 04 model if y'all need one call that dude there's your free shout out bro uh, looks like the interior seats have been redone uh, into uh, I don't know they're not leather anymore they've definitely been redone and it looks like that Jeep style fabric it's kind of waterproof sorry I just bumped into somebody there R32s pretty rare don't see a ton of them definitely a beast of a car especially if you start tuning them it's like you got a non-turbo 3000 GT I'm gonna go over here to avoid the loudness of that music uh, we do not have permission to play loud music in our lot otherwise we would be playing it so again folks if you come out you know we pretty much need you to park your car and get out and enjoy the event if you're going to stick with your car know that we don't really need loud music being played because people want to enjoy the event so came over z01 1le big wing total track car nice little maserati and then fox body Fox body looking good. I don't even know if you have, if these things have a large amount of power, but man, they look good. So from this look, looks like the parking lot is for the most part full. You can see I'll do a little pan. I'm on the far side, I guess the middle of the lot, or far side middle, whatever. I'm not good at math. <laughs> Kia Stinger fans, anybody? That guy's got a skeleton there. Pretty legit. Another old, oh, it looks like someone's thrown a newer LS set up or something of that nature. Really clean. I like the orange flames. M3 hiding over here. Uh, old four door Civics. I like those things. I don't know why. I had one for a little while. My sister drove one for, gosh, she put almost 300,000 miles on it. So I know that they're, I know that they last and they are good. Uh, and then you got this guy over here selling, set up and selling stuff uh, illegally. He hadn't asked us, hadn't talked with us, parked in a handicapped spot. Uh, I will be approaching him off camera and letting him know that that is not something that we need to be doing at our event without proper permissions. Uh, motorcycle motorcycles are running a little low today folks because uh, it is as you can see as you look around me all these people have a bunch of clothes on except for that guy he's got shorts on which is crazy but everybody's got clothes and gloves and it's definitely still cold out here definitely still cold these are getting more and more rare the uh, FJ no roof rack which is I think every one of these, I mean, this guy had to do work to get that roof rack off there uh, and cover up some holes, but that's another car that getting harder and harder to find. Uh, but really cool car. Another one of these massive Jaguars. Wow, it's such a long car, guys. XJ, oh, L, so hey, it's the long wheelbase. Does anybody see Bobadil? Still haven't found my man Bobadil but maybe I will soon let's uh, take our way over here to uh, side lot, dyno lot, whatever you want to call it see summertime people hide in the shade over here but nobody wants to be in the shade today everybody needs some sun look at this 240 up here in front of us really clean Again, sorry, as soon as these guys start revving, it messes the mic up, but I do my best to keep moving so that they don't come and mess with us. Phone 
getting messages. Who's messaging me? Messaging me. Okay, 240. Looks like it's got some kind of swap in it. Oh, intercooler and pretty common build nowadays. If you if you do, got the dyno activity up old school Jag or an older Jag. Anybody, anybody like them Caprice Classics wagons? Oh, that's a Buick. Forgive me. Though it is the same thing. Basically. This guy's got half of his car is carbon fiber. That's kind of cool. Run down the line. But is it both sides or just one side? It is both sides. Okay. Good for him. That costs a lot of money. Carbon fiber is not cheap, folks. But hey, if you do need carbon parts, then you have a wallet to help facilitate doing custom carbon work, reach out to our page. We work with uh, Axis Power Racing. He's been in the carbon fiber business or custom carbon fiber business for uh, God, more than 20 years now. So we do mostly custom work. Uh, there are a few there are a few molds that we have that we have built over the years, but generally speaking, we do 100% custom work, uh, and that's. That is our specialty, if you will. Across the road here, it's really bad when I'm filming. It's really hard to see uh, or focus on, you know, the process of not getting hit by a car, but it happens, I guess. Hopefully, I can make it over here to this Defender uh, turbo diesel, looks like. And I don't know why, but like this diamond plate stuff that sits on top here, it's pretty cool. Really nice ride. Really nice ride, see? Wasn't paying attention and I almost got killed by this man trying to back his Mustang in. Uh, Cars and Coffee Dave, or Dave Beckling, otherwise known. This is not his car, but he is into those 7 Series, so maybe he'll like it. Uh, Cobras, five series wagon. This is my favorite. Kids with car, toy cars. I'm sure he just bought those at our buddy over here that sells them. And just, this is it, man. If I was a kid, that would definitely have been me playing on the ground with toy cars. This is the uh, over-the-top version of the vlog. Got some Lambos. Lamborghinis, and then you got some Dodge Vipers over here. It's a Ferrari California right over here. Uh, not the most well sought after car, but Ferrari nonetheless. And then we believe that is a 360, really clean. Chevelles and Mustangs, Broncos, happy family trying to keep warm in the, the car. Uh, cool old school boss 302 looks like it's it was a boss to start with uh, it's beamer convertible okay don't see very many of these so we'll check it out this is the uh, four-door Nissan Skyline right-hand drive and uh, I don't know that it's they ever made a GTR spec but uh, as you can see pretty legit clean interior and uh, it's definitely one of those cars that didn't come here but probably would have been cool to come here I like that front end I'll take it big old intercooler hanging off the front I'm definitely all about that definitely all about that that too <coughs> Skyline's rare excuse me Got a little cough going here. It's not Corona, I promise. Not that you can get it through a live stream. But you never know. With all the fake news out there, maybe uh, maybe you can get it through a live stream. Uh, okay. Those aren't... What is this, a Citroen? I have ever seen a Citroen. Yeah, tiny little motor. A uh, friend of ours. Oh, this is Lane Motors Museum's car. Okay. If y'all don't know, Land Motor Museum, really cool spot. Go check them out. One of the best car museums 
in our area for sure. Uh, get a little camera pan here. G8. This is our our buddy Dalen rock, rocking both his white rides out here. His uh, Z51 spec uh, C7 and uh, what will become increasingly rare and expensive uh, G8. I don't know what they are. GT or I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Brand new Supra up here, and then you got this uh, just a Chevy ZR2, or kind of looks like one, and then it's got his tent up top. Really kind of a kind of a legit setup. You can kind of go and do anything with that. Uh, it's kind of like a, bit, a mini Raptor almost, since they don't sell the uh, Ranger Raptor here. Uh, like they do in most of the other countries but yeah pretty awesome awesome ride uh, this nice red GT coming our way AMG GT that is and I see one car I want to check out before I cut this live stream a little short it's cold my hands need to be in my pockets but uh, I believe this is a super Legera. Uh, could be wrong could just have a wing on it could just be a Gallardo but I like these cars. I think I've gotten to drive three or four of them. They all seem to be different. And this one, yes, this one is gated. So this is the one. This is why I like it so much, because it's gated. So cool. Don't see very many gated supercars. Uh, to finish the vlog out, just want to let you guys know to be sure uh, they'll be out there till 2 o'clock today down here at Gigi's Cupcakes uh, accepting donations. So go support them. Try to get some of these tornado victims a little bit of comfort. Uh, we are also have our... Uh... Oh, there's found him. I've been looking all over for you, Bo Biddle. Sorry, I found Lewis. Okay. So these are our shirts. These shirts are not, not going to last. Uh, all summer we have probably enough to get us through this event maybe the next event but they are here and they are available uh, we will have them at our booth uh, for the rest of the day today for another couple hours uh, and also uh, probably a few more uh, available for us we're gonna end this thing right where we started with this big old truck a friend of ours decided to bring out if you guys are in this area as you can see, there are still people coming and going. This will happen for another good three or four hours or so. Well, at least two hours. So if you're in the area, stop down. Come in and see us. Look at all these people out here enjoying themselves. It's not often, folks, that you can get thousands of people together in one area and them all agree on one thing. And, it, and on our, our event days, everybody can agree that we're here to have, have fun looking and talking about cars all morning so if you're one of those people that likes that kind of stuff come out and see us there's still a couple hours left for Bo Biddle I'm Ben Barber we're gonna end this thing on this pretty vet driving by thank you guys so much share this with your friends like subscribe comment all those things probably gonna put this up to YouTube so if you missed it and you want to see the other half of it and you're not a Facebook person keep a lookout on YouTube we'll be coming out soon so Thanks again. We really appreciate everybody's support and uh, keep supporting these tornado victims, folks. We will see y'all in the next video.